Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making some chair slip covers for my dining room chairs. I just got this new set from my mom um, and it's a really nice set. It is like a bar style table so it's very tall and the chairs are very nice. They have cushions on them and the cushions are very light colored so I would like to put a little cover on them, something I can take them off to prevent the kids from destroying them. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the fabric I picked out. I got this at our local fabric shop um, in the discount area. I bought this because it's a dark color and it's got kind of a camouflage feel to it. Um, it's got the light peeking through, but the light is even um, kind of an off-white. So I feel like it's gonna really conceal some of the staining, if any, that the kids do <laughs> in between washes. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and measure my seats to see what I'm gonna cut and the measurements and everything. Let's get started. All right, as of now, this is how I have my seats. I have them covered with towels to keep the kids from making them a mess. Um, these are a couple years old, so they're not in perfect condition, but I don't want them to get any worse with three and five year olds climbing all over them. So I'm gonna take my fabric and lay it over the chair. Now it's gonna have a top piece and then it's gonna have an attached skirt all the way around. So it gives it um, more protection. You don't want your seams to lay anywhere that you're gonna be sitting, so I'm gonna keep our seams down here. I'm gonna start from where I want the seam on this side, about over here on the edge of the chair, again, so you're not sitting on it. And you're gonna to wanna to keep some seam allowance, so when it seems like that, so let's go ahead and pull it just a little bit more. So we're just gonna line it up along the, the back. And I'm gonna go with 19 inches. So we'll go 21 by 19. Now that the base is cut, I'm gonna go ahead and measure how much I want for seam allowance around the sides for the skirt and even in the back. The measurement I'm gonna use on the sides is not gonna be as long as the base. We're just gonna go from here into the edge with a little bit we don't need much seam allowance, just enough to hem it at the ends. So I'm not taking any exact measurements, I'm just kind of going with a finger measurement. And I think that's going to be enough. I've got all five pieces cut, the base and four sides. But before I um, go on to sewing, I'm going to cut off the um, measurements for six chairs. So hang tight, I'm going to cut all the fabric and then we'll get to sewing. All right, at this point, what I've done is go ahead and put the fabric on um, inside out or upside down, and I went and attached all the pieces to um, the base. So here I just put the two seams together and pinned it. So you have both of the inside, the right side out pieces facing each other and making a seam. So basically, I'm just gonna show you, all you're gonna do is so where you have the pins and just make a small seam line. Very simple. All right, all the seams are done, which means all the pieces are connected to each other. So now I'm gonna hem everything so there's no raw edges. So along every edge that's not connected to something, I'm gonna fold it down and sew along the edge so it stays sealed. Okay, here is the finished product. I'll give you a up close view. So we've got all the hems done, the seams together. Then here's the back. I just sewed into here and here for the ropes and hung them off the back. Okay, well I hope you really enjoyed this DIY for how to make the slip covers for your chairs. I think it's a really good idea instead of reupholstering your whole chair, this is something you could take off and do for different holidays and just to keep your chairs clean away from little grubby hands. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.
my day.